this video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Whether you're looking for that last card to complete your online deck or just to get the latest booster packs in town, they literally have everything and you can use the coupon code ZAPDOISTCG for 5% off on your complete order. Then there's also CardMarket.com. This is a European platform where you're able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day to get rid of cards that I don't need to get the cards that I really need for competitive tournaments. Also, this video is sponsored by YourPlayMat.com. This is a website to create your own custom playmat. Ideal for the new season, upload your favorite wallpaper or unique logo and they turn it into a beautiful playmat. You can get 10% off by clicking the link down below and they ship worldwide so definitely check it out. Last but certainly not least is DragonShield.com. There are links down below for Europe and US people all alike and you're gonna be able to of course buy uh, sleeves, binders and deck boxes which of of course, Dragon Shield is the best uh, brand out there to protect those beautiful cards. The, the, the sleeves are very good. As you can see, they shuffle really well. And I definitely recommend everybody getting a couple of these sleeves. Thanks for sticking around with the commercials. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace. What's up YouTube, it's Zavlo's TCG here and welcome back to our TCG video on my channel. On this channel you get daily Pokemon TCG uploads, so be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. I just came back from the Lille Originals and uh, I actually got 5-2-2 as a score, so uh, that got me into the top 128, which is uh, very nice getting another 40 CP for the road to Yokohama, the World Championship. So we're doing pretty well in this season, halfway uh, there for my invite and uh, the new set is already our, uh, yeah, up on the horizon here. We have uh, the Silver Temp is set coming out on uh, the 11th of November. Pre-releases start this weekend so I'm super battled about the fact that I just got into the fun fact with uh, Lost Origin and now we already have a new set to look forward to. Luckily in three weeks time there's still gonna be uh, a regionals in the Lost Origin format which I'll be attending to. It is gonna be in Warsaw, Poland. So see you, see you guys there. So uh, Silver Tempest, what can I say? There's gonna be a lot of crazy new archetypes coming into the game. They are not that game-breaking but they're actually pretty good. We have have Lugia V-Star, there is Reggie Droiko V-Star, those two will uh, actually be archetypes of themselves and I'm going to be showcasing some uh, Japanese deck lists that have been performing quite well. So. Uh if you want to be making a new deck already, these are, are the cards we're going to be looking at today. And uh, the fun fact is also uh, that uh, Reggie Lecky VMAX is also part of, uh, yeah, kind of the deck list because Vika Vault gets a little bit of a boost. So with that being said, we're going to be checking out Lugia V-Star here. As you see, this is a, a 60 uh, list right here. We have uh, the Lugia V-Star being able to slap 220. And uh, if you guys want to just check out some specific, uh, how what do you say, proxies, to already start play testing in real life let me just enlighten you just go to twitter twitter.com here we are then type in telenite x telenite x is a, a person that actually always uploads or actually makes proxies and more so you just click on this drive and that takes you to uh, the proxy page so uh, the reason that i'm uh, showcasing this is that now we can actually check out the the cards we we are really looking forward to be play testing with is going to be this one, the Lugia V Star. So, uh, let's see if I can uh, lower it down a little bit. Mm, yeah, no, nah, I cannot do it. Uh, maybe I'll just, uh, yeah, this is fine, this is fine. So uh, we have Lugia V Star here, 280 HP with the Storm Drive slapping, actually Storm Dive. 220, you may discard any stadium in play, which could be nice to bump a path to the peak or whatever that is going to cause yourself some trouble. You can discard stadiums, which is nice. Uh, also, we have the Assemble Star, which makes Lugia super powerful. Put two Carlos Pokemon from your discard pile onto your bench, except Pokemon with Rule Box. So uh, you can just uh, instantly slap down stage two Pokemon if they are Carlos, and that's going to be very impactful because we're going to be slapping down Archeops. Archeops is uh, a Pokemon that uh, if you can get it into play once during your turn, you may search your deck for two special energy cards and attach them to one of your Pokemon. This also stacks. If you can get two Archeops out, you can get four special energies instantly from the deck. This is gonna be super uh, crazy. You can tack in maybe a Blizzy in your deck, but these are the cards you need to uh, take a look at because these are the new cards for the Lugia V Star deck. And that's going to be uh, impactful. If you want to know what the Lugia V does, maybe we can all also showcase that a little bit in this video here, the Lugia V. Uh, 
just has the uh, arrow dive, but could also knock out like uh, uh, V Pokemon instantly because with the special energies that we have at our uh, capabilities, we have powerful card energy and more, you can boost that damage output even further to slap a huge amount of damage. Then there's the V Guard energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides a card as energy, but the Pokemon this card is attached to takes 30 less damage from attacks from your opponent's V Pokemon. You can't apply more than one V Guard once a Pokemon. So it actually doesn't stack. You can only have it uh, have the effect once. There's two of them in there if there's one prize, whatever. So what you wanna do, you can get out Lugia V-Star on your second turn and then boom, try to get these Archeops out on the bench because of the V-Star ability of Lugia V-Star. You can draw some cards with B-Barrel, and the cool thing is you can also get that B-Barrel into play. I've seen that happen as well, so as mentioned, you can use Lugia, V-Star, uh, the Assemble Star, put two cards Pokemon from the discard pile onto your bench, so sometimes that could mean if you don't get b out early enough, you can slap down, <laughs> slap down Archeops as well as the B-Barrel, and then... Uh, you can actually get yourself a, a very decent start. You want to get those in the discard pile. So for evolution and sense, some uh, research in here as well as Ultra Ball. And now also the new Serena. Serena, also a very great card from this set. And uh, it's going to be the best supporter in the set, to be honest. As you can see here, it is very similar to Tate, Tate and Liza from back in the day. You have two choices. Uh, you have two options with a card like this. First option is discard up to three cards from the hand. If you discarded any cards in this way, you can draw cards that they have five cards in the hand so very great draw supporter but also allows you to uh, boss up a V Pokemon so uh, either you boss or you draw cards very very powerful and uh, it works in uh, two ways either you want to uh, set yourself up early on or boss a V Pokemon so a very strong supporter uh, two copies actually three copies of that in that Lugia star V star deck because you can discard your uh, uh, your Archeops and uh, that's gonna be very great in this deck so uh, that's all, all the cards uh, that you see on the screen, uh, we already know. We have Greninja to draw cards, Oranguru to swap the top card of the deck. Could be interesting for sure. And there's also uh, the Lost Vacuum, being able to uh, put a Stadium or a Tool card in the Lost if you don't want to be seeing it. Because uh, let's say here we have Lugia V-Star 220, with Choice Belt 250 if you get two powerful cards energies on. You're going to be able to knock out all the V-Stars and you can knock off the Big Charm with the Lost Vacuum here. Two Echoing Horns as well, so you can uh, keep on bossing. You have two copies of Boss and three copies of Sarina, so you can technically boss five times, which is very, very good uh, for this deck. It's going to be a very fun archetype for sure. Uh, next is uh, a Lugia V-Star deck with Gengar tacked in. Lugia V-Star might have some problems with Mew Max, being that uh, it has a lot of two price uh, situations going for you and uh, sometimes uh, Mew is faster, it knocks you out. So in that defense you do have Gengar, a very great option against Mew Max, but could also knock out uh, yeah, the V-Stars in existence because you slap uh, the G-Max Swallow Up uh, is actually going to be able to slap 250 damage. You have uh, the powerful, uh, not the strong energies that you can accelerate thanks to Archeops' uh, ability and uh, in this deck uh, there's also room for a Aurora Energy, which helps out uh, the Charizard here. You can uh, slap down Charizard, Aurora Energies, all the way onto the Charizard, and you're gonna be swinging for crazy damage. Because as mentioned here, the uh, uh, Archeops, uh, if you can see it here, uh, can accelerate to any Pokemon you want. It doesn't specify Carlos type, so that's gonna be very impactful. You can attack with Charizard going like, uh, if you can get two Archeops out, you can actually attack on uh, your second turn using Charizard. I know, it sounds ridiculous, but it is possible. And with Choice Belt, you do hit some crazy numbers. So all the rest of the cards we got familiar with, but another way to be playing Lugia V-Star. Moving forward is Lugia V-Star with a, a 2-1 Crobat V-Max uh, thrown in there. So as mentioned, uh, to help your Mew V-Max match up a bit. So uh, if uh, this is going to be the way you're going to be having a better matchup against Mew, why not do it? You can also try and attack in Drapion, but uh, Drapion does not work with Path to the Peak. And this list is very reliant on the Path to the Peak, as you can see. And uh, four copies of Serena. So... Uh, Get yourself some Serenas, they're gonna be very, very playable. Also, the V Guard energy also uh, is gonna be pretty impactful for sure. Moving forward, look at what we have. It is Reggie Draco V Star. For the people that have been sleeping under a rock, I haven't done too much Silver Tempest content quite yet, but this is a uh, Reggie Draco V Star, uh, the Apex Dragon. Choose uh, an attack from a Dragon Pokemon in your discard pile and use it as this attack. You don't need their necessary energies to do it, and uh, you can just get attacks from Stage Two Dragon types, uh, any uh, Dragon type in the discard pile. You can utilize the attack. So very, very similar to Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX of back in the day, and uh, people will love grab a uh, tour deck with so much versatility. 
You have the Legacy Star. During your turn, you may discard the top seven cards of your deck. If you do, put two cards from your discard pile into your hand. So you discard seven cards. Hopefully there's a lot of dragon type Pokemon in there. And then after you utilize that, you can just get two cards from the discard pile back. Uh, nice panic attack if you're bricking, but uh, a better way to get the dragon types in the discard pile. Could also have some synergy maybe with Oranguru, putting stuff on top so you know you're gonna be discarding it is an option. But uh, yeah, as you can see here, uh, Rachel Draco V Star, there are very powerful dragon types in the format. We have Giratina, Lost Impact 280, that's nice. Uh, there's a Gudra, 80 less damage, the reduction, very great. You have uh, Drilled on V Max's attack, G Max Polarization, so you can slap through mill tanks. You have the attack of the Dragon Knight. Uh, I don't know what it does, but it's like 180 or something, something. I don't know which Dragon Knight this is, but yeah, you have options. There's the uh, Appleton, 70 damage times, uh, I don't know which uh, Appleton this is. Let me just uh, enlighten yourself with a uh, Limitless TCG. Here you can just uh, tap an Appleton. Maybe it's already uh, a Pokemon that we've gotten familiar with. Apple, Flapple. Appleton, it's actually Appleton. Is it a new Appleton? Let's see here. Maybe it's from Evolving Skies. Appleton, yeah, it's this one. Let's check it out together, shall we? Uh, Tick Muckus, 70 damage for each special energy. Yeah, this is a deck card for uh, the Lugia V Star deck. So, uh, 70 damage for every special energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon. So, uh, a very crazy tech card. Get your Appletons while they're fresh, folks. Get them while they're fresh. And then there's also a Dragonite. I, maybe I've seen that Dragonite somewhere before. If I, uh, it's, I don't know which set it is from, to be honest. Oh, it's a new Dragonite. That makes sense. Come on. Let's check out the new Dragonite together, shall we? So we know every card in this uh, deck. 180. Search your deck for three basic energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon. But hey, it's Full Blitz. You can use Full Blitz with Reggie Draco to set up another Reggie Draco. So that does make sense. So you have these, and there's also. I don't know. It's a Dialga. Dialga Single Strike. Is that also a new Dialga? This is an older Dialga, I would say. Dialga Dragon type Single Strike. Nope, it's not this one. Dialga. It's also Evolving Skies? I don't... Yeah, it's this one. What does it do? Let me see. If the defending Pokemon has a V, it can't attack. Oh yeah, you can uh, stop the opponent in their tracks with that Dialga. So, loss of versatility with the Reggie Draco deck. And uh, it's going to be very cool to utilize that. You also have the Reggie Draco V, which allows it to accelerate energies, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, yeah, discard the top three cards of your deck. If any of those are energies, you can attach them to this Pokemon. Works very well with the uh, Oranguru Primate Wisdom. And this attack also, his second attack, uh, 130 and 30 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Not too impactful, but uh, it's a very f fun archetype to just utilize all of this. If you wonder what this pod is, it's like flip a coin. If heads, you can get yourself an evolution Pokemon. If tails, you can get yourself a basic Pokemon, that item card. Uh, there's, uh, yeah, nothing a lot, not a lot of new things. Serena, we've already talked about that one. And there's uh, a lot of Pokestop shenanigans, so you can discard these uh, powerful dragon type attackers. They're all evolution Pokemon, except for this Dialga. So you're gonna be doing a lot of stuff. That's why there's also uh, lots of tracking shoe poke stuff. And with Gardenia's Vigor, you can accelerate two grass energies instantly to Reggie Draco. But there's other ways to, of course, set up Reggie Draco. There's Arceus V Star. You slap with Arceus V Star, accelerate energy to Reggie Draco, and then you can. The most popular Pokemon you're gonna be copying is uh, Derilodon, Gudra, and Giratina, as you can see here. But these uh, one prize Pokemon that you can copy attacks from are also pretty interesting. Things you can think about, maybe uh, the Latias from Fusion Strike, or is it a set before that? That uh, blocks damage done to you from VMAX Pokemon. Could be interesting, but it's not gonna be too impactful in this format. Uh, that's about it. There's not a lot of new cards in this list. It's just gonna be Arceus, uh, Reggie Draco, and friends. That's gonna be the deck. <laughs> and uh, there's another way to set up Reggie Draco, and that is with Mirage Gate. So you have three different ways to set up Reggie Draco. Uh, as mentioned, Giratina V Star, Gudra V Star, and Drilled on V Star are gonna be the most useful v uh, Dragon type Pokemon in your discard pile. So you have one shot potential, you have defense, and you can smack through any attack. And this also allows you to attack with Cramorant, as we've come to know. So Reggie Draco, very cool to see. Moving forward is going to be Reggie Lecky V Max. Actually, Vic of all deck, but Reggie Lecky is the new card on the block. And uh, there's also this tabloid, uh, this tablet, which we're gonna be seeing in Mew V Max as well. You might say, what, is that a V Star? Well, for decks that do not have a V Star, uh, let me enlighten you, it is going to be the Forest Seal Stone. Uh, you can attach this to a, a V Pokemon, and uh, this V Pokemon can then use this V Star ability. During your turn, you may search your deck for any one card and put it in your hand. 
pretty much half of a star berth with a tool cart broken that's what we want right that is exactly what we want for decks that do not have a v star power now everybody can search a deck this is ultra consistency and then there's also reggie Ilecki. wow this is a uh, pretty small this reggie Ilecki. can i uh enlarge it nope <laughs> oh, what's going on with this reggie Ilecki? come on man anyhow we can see a lot of it has free retreats it has 310 HP and uh, it comes back with a transistor ability. Your basic lightning Pokemon's attack deal 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. And this stacks as well. And then max thunder and lightning stuff 220. And you cannot attack during your next turn. But you have free retreat, which yeah, you're not going to be attacking with Reggie Lackey all that much. It's going to be nice uh, to, of course, power uh, it up. Actually, power Vikavolt up so you can slap more damage. So, Vikavolt, 50 damage item lock can then turn into a more damage output. We have Choice Bell, that's 80 damage item lock. For every Reggie Ilecki V Max, you're slapping an additional 30, so that could be 110, even uh, 140 item lock. You can two shot V stars while item locking. That is fantastic. Super crazy to see. And um, Reggie Ilecki will also help out Raikou. Or maybe even Zero Aura. Zero Aura can slap more damage that way. So every basic v, uh, basic Lightning Pokemon can slap more damage. So you have the stone for extra consistency, so you can get any <coughs> excuse me, any card from the deck with that fantastic tool card. And uh, there's also, of course, that uh, very funky card. Either get a basic Pokemon or an evolution Pokemon from the deck with that item card. So uh, very uh, crazy deck. Item lock with more damage output. That's exactly what Vikavolt needed to become better in the game. You still have Drapion to protect yourself from UV Max, so you can slap that. Very, very, very cool. You use Melanie to set up Vikavolt and then Speed Lightning to attach. So this is going to be nice to test out. Item lock, super powerful. Moving forward, another Lightning deck. Rotom V Star. So uh, you're slapping <laughs> 40 damage for every uh, item card, I would uh, suppose. Like, uh, not every, every tool card from uh, the discard pile that you put in the Lost Zone, right? Let us uh, see if that is correct. I don't know if Rotom V-Star will actually be in this set, but we didn't get it before, so it probably will be smacked into the Silver Tempest set. So let us go together with Rotom V-Star and uh, make sure we actually know incredibly well what it does. Oh yeah, it's 80 damage and you put any tool cards from the discard pile in the Lost Zone. 40 more damage for every card put in the Lost Zone in that way. You have the ability, during your turn you may discard as many cards as you like from your hand, then draw that many cards. So, what you want to do is stack onto a lot of tool cards in the discard pile, have them in hand, use the ability, discard those, research, you have the, the stone will be used in so many uh, decks. So uh, in this situation you can get any card you want from the deck with that tool card. You just discard as many tool cards as you can, there's a single strike scroll which can be utilized on, um, I don't know, a single strike scroll for single strike Pokemon. Is there a single strike Pokemon in this deck even? I don't see it happening. These are like use useless tool cards. I don't know why they are using these tool cards. I must be overseeing something. Anyhow, if you have all these tool cards, oh yeah, now I see it. Wait, the Tower of Darkness. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. There's something in my throat here, so uh, I really have to uh, hydrate to just give you all the information. I want to do it in one take so you guys are uh, exactly seeing what you get. So yeah, now I understand the tool cards that they're single strike, so you can uh, draw more cards with Tower of Darkness. Draw tr to your deck and slap huge damage with Rotom V Star. Cool deck, for sure. Next is Eternus V Max, back from the dead. And... Uh, So yeah, Eternus VMAX back from the dead with uh, uh, Umbreon VMAX for gusting. You have the stone to get any card you want. And there's Serena, which is working miracles for a deck like this. You can discard three cards from the hand and then draw uh, cards until you have five in hand. Or you can boss. So technically, the Serenas are bosses or ways to set up your board. Very cool to see that uh, Lost uh, City is also very popular. Slapping uh, cards into the Lost Zone. Tech cards, for instance, a Galarian Zapdos that can come out of nowhere if they're playing that and uh, this is still very consistent list with like dark patches and uh, uh, a lot of crowbats to draw through your deck hiding dark energies for free retreat and galarian zigzagoon to get the numbers done so uh, 
Looks like Eternatus is coming back a little bit because there's not a lot of, uh, yeah, let's be honest, not a lot of fighting type decks being played. Moving forward as a, an update for Palkia, if you're wondering, there's one wash energy in this list. Only one to protect yourself from. Giratina V-Star that can knock you out, but you also have the big chump to protect yourself. The new cards in this list, this is pretty much, you have Lake Anquity to slap uh, 20 damage reduction into your uh, uh, Pokemon with water energies, but the new card here is Vol uh, Alolan Vulpix V-Star and Alolan Vulpix V. Let's check out what they do together. The Alolan Vulpix V here, not too crazy. You can slap 60 damage if the opponent is a V Pokemon. For zero energies, could be nice as a way to lower the uh, damage on the opponents, but you are leaving yourself with a 190 HP Pokemon. And then there's Alolan Vulpix V-Star. Very crazy that they're making V-Stars of uh, like basic Pokemon. Like you would rather expect an uh, Alolan Ninetales V-Star, but yeah. You have Snow Mirage, 160. The attack's damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. So uh, you can smack through anything and also during your opponent's next turn prevent all damage done to this Pokemon from Pokemon with abilities. So uh, yeah, you're protected from Pokemon with abilities and there's a lot of Pokemon with abilities in the format right now. If we're taking a look at it, there is a uh, Palkia V-Star has an ability, cannot attack you. So in mirror matches, this could be huge. Roxanne attack with Alolan Vulpix V-Star. A lot of Pokemon with abilities. So I think this Vulpix will be better than you think. And there's also for zero energies, 70 damage for every uh, of the opponent's V Pokemon in play. So against Mew V Max, you also have the Silver Snow Star. They have Genesex Mew. You can one shot a Mew V Max with that. Let's say you have four Genesex, uh, a Mew and another Mew. You're gonna be slapping 350 damage with zero energies with the, uh, with the Vulpix. Cool. Next up is going to be Mew V Max itself. <clears throat> so uh, Mew V Max. Now, uh, the only new cards in here are the stone, the uh, which can actually get any card from the deck. So that will, uh, now people will uh, gravitate more towards the fusion build again, because donking is easier than ever before. You have, of course, your setup. And uh, as soon as you have your setup, you can just utilize uh, the uh, donking capabilities of Meloetta. There's only two Alessa Sparkle in here. You don't need more because the tablet can find the missing piece. You use Alessa Sparkle, Fusion Energy of the turn, Choice Bell, Tablet, Tablet, boom, blow up everything as we've come to know. And now it works even more consistently than ever before. So leading off with a two prize Pokemon, you're gonna be very afraid facing off against Mew V Max 2.0 <clears throat> with the additions of, of course, more consistency for Battle VIP Pass, for Ultra Ball, for Quick Ball, the double stone. I really want to know what the stone is called in English here. Uh, it is called the Forest Seal Stone. We'll put Mew Max to higher levels, higher consistency, and uh, very, very dangerous terms here. You have Echoing Horn boss capabilities. You can also boss with the Serena, so Serena can also declunk your hand. If your uh, hand is full of uh, Battle VIP Passes, as soon as you draw to this, you can discard all of them instantly with, of course, Serena. Okay, Mew Max still around. Uh, just be careful of the Drapions. Drapions have been creeping around uh, a lot here and there. And then last but not least, the Reggie deck, the, the Reggie deck here. Just a consistent list, I'd be uh, afraid to just only play 2 Gigas, but that's just me. Also no Pokestop in this build, it is just running uh, Serena here. And the Serena will allow you to, of course, discard your special energies and then draw more cards. So Serena will be great for their Reggie deck. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed these deck lists from uh, Silver Tempest. I'm looking forward to, of course, playing with all of these fantastic new cards. If you enjoyed the video, you should let me know by rocking the hell out the like button. Helps out in many ways to support the channel. Super grateful if you would do so. Let me know in the comment section which deck you're going to be making up next. And go check out our sponsors. Links down below for all of them. So uh, thank you very much for watching today's upload. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG epicness. Peace.